first tried the apple liqueur, I was blown away by the natural taste and aromas. So I was very excited to visit the Moses Farm where they have a very hands-on craft distillery that produced these artisanal products bursting with natural flavor. My expectations were high arriving into the Fadelback region, but I couldn't help but notice the beauty of the area. I was very much looking forward to meet the Moses family and spend a few days exploring their farm and trying their products. My name is Tom Dyer and I am the Moses brand ambassador in the United Kingdom. It's so juicy. <laughs> it's super. So how many apples do you have on one tree, roughly? Um, 80. Wow. And how many trees? 60,000. 60,000, yeah. well, and my maths is not that good, so that's like <laughs> a lot of apples. So when is, when is picking, picking season? Is... Season, it begins, starts in uh, the end of August yeah. and ends with the Brayburn and with the Fuji apples in the end of October. Family is, is around since uh, 1893. Wow! And my wife and I, we are the, the fifth generation, and this is the sixth generation. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> About 30 hectares. The sea level here is, is 270 meters. Above? Above. Okay. We are relatively windgeschützt here, weil außerum noch ein paar Berge sind, die den Wind abhalten. we grow are going to the market for fresh eating wow. of the fruits. Well, But also a part of this, of the fruits, are going to make juice. And of course the apple liqueur. Yes, of the course delicious too. Apple liqueur, yeah. which is delicious. <laughs> and I've had many of your apples today. It's absolutely delightful. We search for the perfect apples. So and you then, make an apple juice? Yes, Yeah. of the Elstar apples. Right. And then we have to uh, clear the juice. Then um, to make the liquor, we need also some other ingredients like um, alcohol, sugar. Is there anything else in here other than uh, apples, sugar and alcohol? Well, that is it. That is it. Fantastic. <laughs> It tastes like you're eating an apple. Yes. It's absolutely delicious. That's what we want to bring to the customer. I think, in my opinion, you've achieved it 100%. Yeah. We um, want to make the best uh, spirits out of the fruits that we can, and there are no compromises. These grapes here, these are. This is the uh, Riesling. Riesling, yeah. Riesling, it's a very popular. And how much, how much of this do you produce here? How much we have? About four hectares. Wow. And uh, most is Riesling. Yeah. A little bit of the Limburger wine is going in the Kräuter liqueur. Nice the liqueur. You 
also grow the, the black currants, and that is the most popular selling, correct? They are all har harvested by, by machine, and these red currants, they are picked with the hands. Wow! They, they take only the best. What do we have here? This is apples or pears? This is pears. Williams Christ. Williams Christ. All fermenting. All fermenting. Williams needs four weeks yeah. for fermenting and then you go to the distillery. We get the alcohol and the Williams aroma out of the mesh and into the glass. Fantastic. That's the best. And this is what you're left with. So it's just, again, pears which have been mashed, fermented and then distilled. Yes. And this is what we got. You can smell the pear so well, huh? We can't go without trying your award-winning hazelnut cream liqueur. Whose idea was this? It was mine. Yeah? Yes. Fantastic. Yes. It's a mix between hazelnut alcohol and cream. 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 Yes. And cream and sugar. That's it. Yes. Simple as that, huh? Yeah. When you're making the spirits, what do you do with the hazelnuts? You just mash them up or do you roast them a little bit before? You mix they them are, with alcohol and sure. then you distill the mix. Yes, but they are roasted before. Yeah, roasted. Yes. From Italian. Yes. Wow. From yeah. the Piemont area. Yeah. The last two days here have just been uh, fantastic. To see how they make the products, to see how much hard work and effort is put into producing every single one of the products that we've got here is, uh, is mind blowing. And in such a beautiful scenery, with such a wonderful family, it's a pleasure for me to be a part of such an amazing, an amazing collaboration. I get to be able to play with a new product which no one's really ever tried or tasted before and it's a pleasure to be able to introduce it to the UK market so that other people can, can see the effort that's, and the love that's put into all of these products. <laughs>